Good morning guys, I have arrived in Batambang with some other girls, uh, Zoe who was also in Team Reef with me and today we are going on an incredible local adventure with a local guide and we are going to see lots of interesting things, also going on the bamboo train, going to see the bats fly out the cave and everything there is to see here in Batambang. So let's go off and explore. But first I will tell you guys a bit about how we arrived here. Yesterday we arrived in Batambang from Siem Reap and we had booked a minivan from the hostel. To our surprise, it wasn't a minivan, it was a car with seven seats and a Cambodian family in the back and our bags went on top of the car. Um, it was all good, we arrived after about three hours on the road and honestly the landscape is really pretty. We were picked up by another tuk-tuk and taken to our hostel. Our first stop was a vegan restaurant for lunch because by then we were joined by Kati, an Austrian who is also a vegetarian. They had some lovely homemade drinks and noodles. And then we are now staying at uh, the place which is one of the only hostels here. The communal area is really nice to work in and they also have a cool rooftop bar with um, a restaurant as well the room it's very basic and people can see you in the shower but other than that for one night it's fine we had the most amazing dinner last night at a local place that is called coconut lily we had some traditional cambodian meals like amok i had the fish amok uh, someone else had the mushroom amok some lok lok as well and you can even do a cooking workshop there the people were honestly so friendly we got free water and even free bananas after we had eaten super nice and this morning since the tour was a bit late we went out for breakfast and it was also so yummy it was then finally time for our tour today i am joined by lisa from holland uh, kati from oh, yeah. austria oh, you might recognize these faces <laughs> zoe and bia from siem reap and we are going on what might be the best authentic local experience in all of cambodia the tour started an hour late to avoid most of the rain. However, the streets were very much still flooded. We were nice and dry in the tuk-tuk as the last rain fell. First, our guide Kim showed us around the most significant places within the city center. Our first stop was at a local family that makes water tanks for a living. These are used to save rainwater, and it all starts out with a wooden mold that's finished off with clay and cloth. They then put them on the bottom plates and then the real work begins. Our guide started helping right away. It was fascinating to see them go about their business and they were crazy fast and so skilled at this. Our guide, however, he struggled a bit more. We then continued our way, passing by many temples, ferry locals and markets. At our next stop we learned all about the famous Cambodian treat, made inside of bamboo and turned over fire for over an hour and a half. This sticky rice with beans is an incredible and unique snack. Some more? Yeah. It's really nice. Approved by everyone. Mm -hmm. Perfect snack. This is definitely one of the strangest temples you can visit because they have all these crazy statues that represent hell uh, for people to be inspired to do good. After a short stop at this temple, we made another short stop to see Cambodian cheese, which is actually very stinky fermented fish. We also saw that along the road they were drying bananas and this is then the delicious end result that's being sold. The next family we visited is known for their rice wine. Generations have passed on their recipe and our guide explained us what the process is like. Just Yeast. Yeast. Ah, yeah, okay. First, they cook the rice to make yeast and without yeast, alcohol can't be formed, so it's very important. The rice is then dried and later reused and this bucket honestly smelled 
amazing. The peels of the rice are even used to create the fire. The animals get the leftover rice, so absolutely nothing goes wasted. After seeing the distilling process, it was time to taste. What fruit inside is like jackfruit or banana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can test. Okay. Cheers, boy! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> is it good? Oh, yep. <laughs> it's like vodka like. <laughs> Same again. Chul. Uh, Chul. Moi. Moi. Chul moi. Chul moi. Cheers. Cheers. Another one. Oh yeah, I like this one. At the next family, we learned how rice paper was made. Once again, they used the peels of the rice to make a fire and then steam a rice paste over this cloth. Very easy. They then dry them onto these things. And people from the market, they come to buy here. And they can sell in the market. Unfortunately, they weren't making rice paper that day, but we did get to see how they use them to make fresh spring rolls, which we then ate with the typical peanut sauce, obviously. That is the morning excursion done. Actually, we did two excursions in one day, but he makes it one in total. Uh, we just have a short break now uh, at the hostel. It has been so great. Usually in France, if you go to a champagne distillery, all you see is how one thing is made. But here we have seen so many local delicacies that are made by local families. And just everything we've seen has been very artisanal and nothing is industrial. So it's really cool to see. Up next, we are going to the bamboo train and the bad caves for a sunset. We are on the road again. Yeah. This is the best fried rice of Batambang. Oh yeah, yeah, in Batambang. Yeah, I like it. When I come to bamboo train, I always come to here and have a fried rice in local place very good I like it we've arrived at the bamboo train and there are two options you either go with the one of the government or you go with the local one and obviously with the best local tour if you have more people another direction they have to take off okay. yeah. yeah and if you less people you have to take off slowing down because people are coming from the other direction so now one of us has to get off let's do a stare down <laughs> After driving for about 10 minutes, it is time to turn the bamboo train around and go back the same way. That is why you will meet other bamboo trains on the way. After the amazing bamboo train ride, more adventure awaited us at this very wobbly bridge crossing the river. Next up, we pass by a mushroom farm. Apparently, the Japanese came to Cambodia to teach the locals how to grow mushrooms. It looks pretty cool. They are not magic, however. We 
we've arrived at the touristy uh, bat cave, but we are going to a secret one that only our guide can know. We have made it to the top of the hill and this is Kim by the way, our lovely tour guide who has been showing us around today and thank you so much for being so helpful and kind and funny. Um, we have booked it with him, Kim Tours, so if you want to do this tour as well then I will leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and come meet this guy in person as well. I'm so happy about that. Now we're just waiting for million million of bat come out from the secret bat cave and they have to come out for water first and after water they have to go around for insect for food yeah and then after that in the morning they just come back to the cave so now like our group just waiting for the bat come out from the cave I think in 10 minutes they will come out yeah thank you so much we are excited not long after arriving at the viewpoint the bats started flying out and we never even saw the end of it these really were millions and millions of bats swerving over the landscape. One of the most special natural phenomena I've ever witnessed. They are still coming out now, <laughs> over 10 minutes later. You can smell them, you can hear them, you can hear their wings as well. We made it back and we are really sad that we have to say goodbye to our lovely guide. It's too bad that we can't take you with us. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of the next videos from Asia. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!